Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Crate Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make some gears. Now, uh, you're going to have to bear with me. I have my windows open and uh, I seem to be losing my voice, but this is a very cool trick, so I want to translate this to you if I can. Um, first of all, let's go ahead and drop a vertex object into our scene. And let's jump into the vertex modeler proper. Let's snag an oval, push shift, and let's drag it, filling up almost all of our um, drawing plane. Push enter because the object definition is OK. Let's bring this up above this so we can see our stuff. And now let's push shift H. You push shift H and, you, and that'll happen. Or you can go up here and push this and it's the exact same thing. Push shift, drag down a little bit, and you can have your, uh, if, you're, if you're wanting exact uh, math on this stuff, you can control Z. Uh, you can push uh, control J, do snap to grid, pow. And now, when you draw it in, it'll be even all the way down. See that? All right. Let's go ahead and snag our delete tool. Kapow. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and do some things. Snag a couple of these. Let's do a loop. And let's just cut some holes out of every other one. Or, you know what? Better yet. Let's uh, do entire sections. Three. What was it? Sixteen. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Perfect. Now, uh, now there's a couple of different ways that you might think that you can do this. And you probably can, but I never could myself. Let's go ahead and snag a, a polyline tool. Let's get in the four corner view here. And let's go ahead and draw a line from top to bottom right there. Push enter so it'll stop making lines and now let's select all this the gear that we're fixing to make and click your your path sweep and kapow see that now when it came up a couple of things happen when you do this when you do a, a, a path sweep it's going by your vertices and your polylines so uh, it's pushing your, your polygons up because it's pretty much disregarding these and then hitting these. This, this may not be the exact thing that's happening, but this is the way I'm perceiving it. So take it for what you want. Uh, so we don't want to do it that way. Let's go ahead and push uh, Command Z. And let's lose this. Do that. Now let's select everything, all of it and go to model and this thing this has been around for a while this is this add thickness was here long before the d extrusions and stuff like that let's go ahead and add thickness let's do 0 0.25 0 0.25 and you notice it's a little bit bumpy there let's go ahead and select all again and then we're going to crease the edges just like that kapow and I'm I was w looking at another tutorial and it, it showed that uh, uh, when the lines are like this it means it's straight so uh, that's a neat little tip if your lines are all yellow that means that everything's flat across the top and uh, let's see what we got well first before we start getting into gear mode let's go ahead and get everything the way we want it let's rotate this on 90 degrees there we go nice and good now uh, yeah, let's render it. See what see what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like that. I forgot I kind of jacked with my lights a little bit. Uh, let's do twenty. There we go. And this is what our gear looks like so far. Now let's go ahead and jump back in here. And this part is is what's going to make your gears. Check this out. Let's go ahead and go over here. Select it out of everything. Push one so that we can. We're in 
the camera view and select a couple of um, select a couple of these by pushing shift and let's loop it kapow now push shift and we're going to deselect the polygons that we just selected and we're going to do every other one see that kapow kapow and you notice we have some some polylines kind of messing things up if you select the if you select this first the polygon thing first you don't have to worry about deselecting or selecting any anything other than the polygon now that we have everything uh, the way we want it all the way around let's go ahead and push shift H again this is a very powerful little thing here and let's push 0.5 or no no no, no I'm sorry minus 0.5 your minuses are gonna go away from your um, normals okay push enter let's push all center it oh yeah dang it yeah you get, need to make sure you're out of that thing now let's go ahead and center it bring it around yeah that's that's pretty gear looking and I have an example made up of uh, this exact te technique only I kind of played with the polygons in the middle now we're gonna go ahead and show how I did this and this is gonna be a seamless animation um, what I did is uh, let's go ahead and make sure everything's centered we did let's slide this over because we're gonna make room for another one duplicate it bring it over here to make sure that the gears are pretty much kind of touching push shift we'll center it let's see what we got alright cool now what we want to do is uh, go into our modifiers push plus we're going to do a behavior a spin behavior and this is going to be 0.25 this is going to uh, complete a quarter cycle every second okay now on this one we're going to add a, the same thing we're going to put a spin modifier only we're going to make it minus 0.25 and we're not going to worry about any of this other stuff now I have I have my animation set up so it runs four seconds because you notice uh, in one second it does 0.25 it, it rotates a, a quarter turn at one second so we we did four seconds and it's going to make a complete turn see that and you can kind of tighten it up if you want to you can make, kind of put a little bit of a spin and it's not going to hurt anything if you if you do a rotation just a little bit just to kind of make it match up if you want to I'm not going to do any of that right here uh, I'm just pretty much getting you started but uh, yeah this is your gears this is a uh, it's a it's a pretty cool way to um, oh, let's make this loop it's a pretty cool way to make gears and if you've done any kind of artwork or looked at any kind of artwork at some point you're gonna to have to do some gears and uh, Unless you have some pre-made, this is the way you can do it. So, anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Crate Man, and I'll talk to you again later.